All right, let's test this. Here's the URL. Let's start to the demo. In this case, I'm pointing to a data set. So a concept ID for a data set. Uh, and it passed the test. This is just a computer science detail on cross-domain origination. Now let's imagine we have a format that is available, but it's not a, it wouldn't make for a good concept ID like comma separated values. And we get the yellow. Now let's imagine that the tool just doesn't work. So it's uh, the wrong domain. Red. Let's try something else now. This is a funny detail that if the ID is wrong, some services will identify also the non-existing concept ID. I just left it here as a curiosity. Let's move to a concept ID in connect. So I just picked one. 387198193. Let's find out what is the primary source. I believe this is from recruitment. That's correct. There it is. Now let's pick these are the sub collections that to find the recruitment. Let's pick one. There we are. Uh, so this is about ethnicity. I'm always intrigued by the use of special numbers as meaning something. So this is an extreme case where we rescue these uh, old-fashioned functionalities with concept IDs. So I don't know what 7, seven is. Let's find out. Means unavailable. All right, we're about 57. Hints other. Okay, so one more example. So some very detailed concept IDs. I'm looking at a, in this case at the SNP. So we have the SNP ID 268, and the information that you find rendered in the web page for DB SNP exists in the format of a JSON object, which is rendered here. All right, I'll stop here.